Hey guys, and welcome back to a update on my PlayStation 1 collection. This is my whole collection in my room, in my games room. Uh, they're all in alphabetical order. As you can see, a few of these will have cash converters labels. Uh, there's a nice 19p label one there. Uh, games range from really fun games to play to awful games like Bubsy 3D, as you can see there. Buster Move, some fantastic titles there. Checkmate and Checkmate 2. Um, Colin McRae's Rally and uh, Rally 2.0 there, Command and Conquer, uh, you got the Cool Ball Trilogy, uh, Crash Bandicoot games, uh, honestly I haven't counted how many I've got recently, I've got a box in the shed of uh, additional Playstation 1 games that I just don't have room for on uh, my shelves, I'm also trying to work out where to put my Game Boy games uh, at the moment. Um, so there's a bit of an issue with uh, shelf space at the moment. Um, but yeah, these are all the ones that have currently made it to my games room, currently made it to the shelf and are all on display. Uh, you've got games like Formula One, um, you can just see there on the right side there's two copies of Grand Theft Auto London. The reason of that is one is sealed, you can see which one it is because it's shinier than the other two. Uh, Hawks of War, a fantastic game, one of my favourite games growing up as a kid. Uh, there's other titles like Marvel Super Heroes, Medal of Honor, Medieval, the little uh, skeleton guy with the one eye, Me Metal Gear Solid, the, the dual case, Monster Rancher, which last time I looked at the price and that was like £40. It may, may have varied since the last time I looked. Uh, Eminem Shell Shops, one of my favourite PS1 games. Probably in the top five with ease. Um, you've got games like Pong, which I played hours of playing. It's a basic um, ping pong game, but it's so much fun. Rayman, Rayman Rush, Rayman Junior Level Three, the Resident Evil One, Two, and Three collection. There, um, like I said, this is a lot of my own personal stuff from growing up, and additional stuff that I've picked up from places like cash converters and boot sales. Uh, since I've been doing my buying and selling, which you've probably seen in my um, game find videos. Um, you're going into the R, you've got games like Rugrats, there's three of them there, all different ones. Scrabble, Sensible Soccer, a few wrestling games, a couple of South Park games. That Space Invader game there is one of my favourite games. I know I keep saying that's one of my favourite games, but I played so many hours with so many of my different friends on that. Uh, Spider-Man 1 and 2, Spyro games, a couple of Star Wars games there. Uh, and Star Trek game, or Star Trek game, there's only one there. Tekken 1, 2 and 3. Moving on to the T's, you've got games like the Theme Park World, which pretty much anyone that had a PlayStation had that game. The Simpsons Wrestling, another one of them classic games. Time Crisis, uh, you've got the Tomb Raider 1, 2 and 3, um, and the last uh, Revelations and Chronicles, uh, Tom Clancy game. You've got a couple of Tony Hawk Pro Skaters, I'm not sure what's happened to number one there, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1's missing, uh, and then the trilogy of Wipeout games there, World Cup 98, probably the one that I've played the most out of in football games on the Playstation, um, you've got games that have kind of just fit around on the shelves because I haven't got room for it like Yeti Sports, um, and then I'm going to just end this video now on a, on a zoom out of what I've got, as you can see, they're nicely um, organised there in alphabetical order and uh, yeah if you like this leave a like and leave a comment in the comment section below thanks guys